Hello. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve systems of equations, these are linear equations, algebraically or by inspection. So let's look at the, we have three different examples. Let's look at example one. 4x plus 5y equals 11 and 4x plus 5y equals 16. Now you don't have to go any further. By inspecting these, we're saying that two identical numbers have different sums. So we know that that's impossible. There are no two numbers that if added together will give you different sums. So you say there's no solutions. And you don't have to go any further. Example 2 we're going to use elimination to solve for the values of x and y. 4x plus y equals 18 and x minus y equals 2. Now we could do this graphically, but this is a very simple way, by using elimination is a simple way to solve for x and y. So because the coefficient of y in both of these are opposites. This means positive 1 and this means negative 1. We can add together the two equations. 4x plus x equals 5x. We've eliminated the y's when we add positive y and negative y or positive 1y and negative 1y. We add their sums together and we get 5x equals 20. If we divide both sides by 5, x equals 4. Now to find out what y is, we can substitute in either of these. So if x minus y equals 2, 4 minus some number equals 2, we know y equals 2. To check if our answer is correct, substitute in the first equation. 4 times 4 equals 16 plus 2 equals 18. So we know we are correct. x equals 4 and y equals 2. Let's look at example 3. 3x plus y equals 20 and x plus y equals 4. In this case, we can eliminate one of the variables by subtracting. So we're going to subtract all of these numbers. So, we could say we're adding the opposite. So, 3x plus the opposite of x gives you 2x. And y plus the opposite of y gives you 0. And 20 plus negative 4 gives you 16. Dividing both sides by 2, x equals 8. If x equals 8, we go to the original solute, right, original problem, x plus y equals 4. x plus y equals 4. If x is 8, what do you have to add to 8 to get 4? y would be negative 4. Let's substitute back here. 3 times x. 3 times 8 is 24 plus, substitute for y, negative 4, and does that equal 20? Yes. So, therefore we know that the solution, or where these two equations would intersect, would be when x equals 8 and y equals negative 4.